Hello my lovelies, so today we're going to be reviewing the new Gotham trailer. A bunch of quick shots and if you missed it there's a quick shot of Bruce Wayne dressed as Jerome or the Joker. You are about to have a very transformative experience. Then there's a quick statement and it says within the first 20 seconds of this trailer 17 seconds of this trailer include Jerome or Jerome. I think that's an indication of how heavily influential he is on the last three episodes of this season. We all could go insane just one bad day. I just want to paint the town crazy. They then draw a comparison between Jerome and Jeremiah. Jerome obviously being the evil twin and Jeremiah being the better of the two. It's definitely got a Jekyll and Hyde type of feel about it. And I think we see that. But we see the struggle within Jeremiah to stay good. My God. There's two of them. We were always different, Jerome and I. I showed proficiency for maths and design, and Jerome mainly the mutilation of alley cats. They hid me away to protect me from him, but I knew one day Jerome would come for me. You couldn't hold him. <laughs> Arkham couldn't. I can. This is not good. Hello, brother. <gasps> what are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna drive you mad. <laughs> We definitely see Jeremiah start to become unhinged after he inhales the poisonous gases left behind by Jerome for him in the music little poisonous box from Satan. Into the gates of hell you go with your deadly brother. I'll fight it. Breathe in. This gas made just for you. It's time to have some fun. <laughs> After Jerome died, he left one less trap for me. He sprayed me with this insanity gas. I can't stop seeing him. Your brother is dead, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was that? What are those? Nobody knows. Nursery rhyme. That's how it goes. What am I doing? Why is this happening to you? You tell me why. We see that they've captured Inspector Gordon here, played by Ben McKenzie, and that becomes relevant for a later part in the trailer. Hiya, Jimbo. I wanted to bring you here. <laughs> His followers must have dug him up. Oh, God, no. What is this? Jerome is victorious at last! Jerome's insanity gas failed at a mild cosmetic effect. Jerome is dead. Those generators, we with they work even better as bombs. That sound you are hearing, that is a very bad sound. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey there, Mr. Valeska. You alone, or you got Mr. Wayne with you? No, Mr. Wayne, but I'm not alone. What the hell? It's time to give Gotham City its new face. I think this is really interesting. Right at the beginning of the trailer, they personify the city by telling you that they're going to give it a new face. Now, cities don't have faces. I think that's really interesting because Jerome was given a new face. So it could be a metaphor for that. But it also could be a metaphor for the fact that Jerome has now died and Jeremiah is the new Jerome. I don't know. What do you think? Am I losing it? Would it be the first time? Let me know in the comment section down below. I have bombs planted around the city, just like the one that killed Jim Gordon. So we don't know that Gordon is dead. We don't even know if this is some sort of ruse and they're lying to us and Gordon isn't dead. But even if he's dead, he'll be back like everybody else. Nobody dies. If you remember, in Season 1, Episode 22, Fish Mooney was killed when she was shot by Butch and then pushed into the ocean by Oswald. As if that guy can push anyone off anything, but it happened. Butch! About time! Shoot her, Butch! Oh, really? Do as I say, Butch! 
Shoot her! What are you doing? Drop him! My friend, remember your training. I order you to shoot her! What? Don't listen to him. He did something to your mind. I'm your girl. Remember, I'm your girl! Kill her now! Oh my god, what did I do? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I would never hurt you. I love you, Fish. It's okay. It's not your fault. I love you too. You mess with your mind. It's not your fault. I'm gonna be fine. You know me. Goodbye, fish! It's all good. No! She was then brought back to life by Doctor Strange at the end of the second season, I believe in episode 22. Let me check. How good's your memory? I was wrong. Right? Was I? Episode 21. I was wrong but right because, you know, it's close enough. We have a heartbeat. <sighs> She's awake. She's awake. Quickly. Go get Professor Strange. Welcome back to the world, my dear. I imagine you're feeling rather confused. We also saw Butch get killed by Barbara when he was shot. You wanna know why you're always taking shots at me? The giant size of the target? It's because for all your tough talk, you miss her. You miss her loyalty, her strength. She made you better and you know it. But you sacrifice that for what? Play queen for a day? Pathetic. If it helps, you never deserved her in the first place. I guess we'll see. And then he was dumped into a toxic pond And then he came back to life. So who's the vegetable? Ah, uh, used to be a gangster. Name's uh, Gilzine, maybe Gold? Look, a slug in the noodle. Been in a coma six months. So, Hospital Brass wants to free up some beds? Yeah, say take him uh, upstate. <laughs> Rest in peace, Butch Gilzing, Cyrus Gold, <laughs> whoever the hell you are. Jerome was just crazy. Jeremiah is crazy and methodical. And, you know, crazy is bad on its own, but when you're methodical and crazy, you know, damn it. Call Jesus. Some, does anyone have his contact details? I'll settle for an apostle. 
You're more sick than your brother. We just wanted to destroy things. I'm a builder. But every artist needs a blank canvas. I know seeing is believing, and I do want you to believe me, so... What do we got? I detonate the explosives in six hours. I want the city empty when I do. The clock is ticking. I definitely agree with this statement. I, I think that Jerome or Jeremiah, whatever he is at this point, is the craziest, scariest criminal out of all of them. He's definitely a different type of villain. We were first introduced to a Joker of this kind when we had my beautiful Heath Ledger, who unfortunately passed away. That's 500. How about a lie? Hmm? I don't know how I got these scars. My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he takes the knife to her laughing while he does it he turns to me and he says why so serious he comes at me with the knife why so serious he sticks the blade in my mouth let's put a smile on that face and Why so serious? Before that point, the Jokers were a little bit more funny. I think definitely my favourite Joker is uh, Heath Ledger. I, I'm sure everyone will agree with me, or most people anyway. If you don't and uh, you disagree, definitely tell me who your favourite Joker is down below. But this guy that's playing the Joker in Gotham, is easily their most incredible actor. He is the one with a lot of star quality. Initially, I was upset because I didn't like the person that they cast to play Bruce. I thought he didn't have very much appeal. I saw him as very bland as an actor. And I'm not saying this. He's very young. Hopefully, he'll grow up and grow into his character. But... Not only is he bland, but the script doesn't seem to be helping. When you watch a show and it's got, you know, characters that are bland, but you have this one character with a dominant, strong personality that's very distinct, he seems to take over. That's what seems to have happened in Gotham, I think. I could be wrong. He might die. He's crazy. He'll be back anyway. <laughs> Every time someone dies, I'll be like, it's all right, he'll be back. Give it a week. Give it two weeks. Give it a season. One step closer. This time my dear Jongleur with my core relay in his hand and a grenade taped to his mouth. Indeed it is. It seems you have the upper hand. Well. Yeah. We see here that even the criminals in Gotham, including Oswald himself, seem to be afraid of Jeremiah. So that's really speaking volumes. I think this is because when they were in the institution together, Jerome and Oswald did not get along. I also feel like the criminals that are against Jerome aren't his type of crazy. They're not his type of villain. They just kind of want to have a part of the city or control the city. They don't necessarily want to destroy it. And that's the difference. Where have you been? No, not Alfred. 71 Welling Avenue will be there in an hour to tell the police and I'll know. Alfred! We see here that they've kidnapped Alfred. Kidnapped. I don't like that word. Can we use adult nap? So they adult nap Alfred uh, in order to lure in Bruce Wayne. And it seems to have worked. And then we see Alfred being like zapped in the head. Sorry, man. It looks painful. And then we see him attacking Bruce which could be some sort of brainwashing. I don't know what's going on there. We also see scenes of Bruce Wayne transforming into like the Joker or Jerome, whatever you want to call him. But then we also have a quick scene of him putting on the Batman mask for the first time. So is he going to join the dark side or is he going to turn into Batman? 
I know I said Batman. It's a problem I have. I've always said Batman. It's Batman. He's not a gambler. I don't think. What's going to happen? And I think it's really interesting that they're showing us both sides because they're saying, you know, this could go both ways. Obviously, even if he's evil, he's not going to be evil forever. He's Batman. <laughs> he's Batman. Um, so there's always room for redemption. Why not? You know, a little bit of evil here and there. Like he liked to drink and apparently that's satanic. Or his dark side or something. I don't know. I like to drink. Doesn't mean I'm a psychopath. I really hope nobody I know finds this video. They may disagree. I've seen something very special inside of you. But to free it, you'll have to lose everything and everyone you hold dear. There's a darkness inside both of us. The difference is I know how to control mine. You're the brother I never had. One Jerome never could be. We will create a legacy in this city. You kill the butler. It's no longer necessary. So we previously saw that Oswald and a few of the other members of the Oswald gang who were separate members and at one point members of their own gang like Barbara and the other chief that is insignificant. I never really liked her. Very insignificant. Anyway, they're against Jerome. Jeremiah. This is getting really confusing. <laughs> we see that a few villains seem to be on the same side as Jerome. I got it that time. I got it. Including Jonathan Crane, the Scarecrow. Michelle Ventimilla, I think I'm pronouncing that right, who plays Firefly as well. And then Nathan Darrow, who plays Mr. Freeze. It's the dawning of a new city, one where we will all be free. My eyes are open, as will yours be. They seem to have the same agenda as Jeremiah. Um, or they feel like they owe him for him getting them out of the institution that they were in. We're going to find out. So finally, in the last scene, we see Jerome on top of the girl that's going to turn into a cat woman. What's her name? With the curly little hair. She's pretty cute. Uh, so he's on top of her and he's like, I know you probably feel pretty bad about dying this way or something along those lines. I can't really remember. And then, capiche. It fades to black, and that's it. It must be very disappointing for you, <laughs> dying like this. I think it's a smart move that they've concentrated a lot on Jerome's character because I think he is the most interesting out of the bunch. Unfortunately, Bruce Wayne isn't so interesting. They haven't really worked on his character development. I don't know if I don't like him because I'm not impressed by his acting ability or I'm not impressed by the script writing. But hopefully they improve on, on his character as a whole. I'm definitely going to watch the last three episodes. I don't know what's going to happen. It's all over the place. I don't know whether Bruce Wayne's going to be bad or good. I don't know whether uh, Inspector Gordon's going to die. I don't know whether Alfred will die. You do see that quick scene where Alfred's on his back after he's been thrown off that structure, I assume by Bruce Wayne, and then you hear a voiceover of Jerome, it seems like, saying, uh, we don't need the butler anymore, just kill him. So we don't know if Alfred's going to live. But like I said, I don't see Alfred permanently dying. I don't think that Inspector Gordon's going to permanently die, because those characters are still present in Bruce Wayne's life when he becomes the Batman. So definitely let me know what you think down below. I respect you and your opinions, so... I'm waiting to hear from you. If you like this video and you think you have a friend that might like it, definitely send it to them because you like your friends, don't you? If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload and so that we can run together. If you like this video in particular, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know to make more content like this for you. 
Until next time, my lovely human beings, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>